It's time for another video again. Happy New Year and all the rest. My name's Dan, this is my six wheel drive 80 series chopped land cruiser. I've done quite a lot to this vehicle, but today we're gonna to be doing the interior. So I've already made part one and part two to this. This is gonna be a part three. In this video, I've made the mounts to mount it to the floor. I've made the custom middle seat between the two bucket seats and laid the foam and made some cup holders. And go through from where we left off pretty much all the way up until ready to get impulsed. But I'm not going to do this in this episode. That will be another episode. After this video, my main focus will be the cab because I'm going to get the cab finished and painted and the white body and everything finished and done because I'm taking this to a full drive expo in New Zealand the 4X4 Outdoor Expo in the North Island. And I'm gonna give you the opportunity to win a double pass to that expo. To, and this will be there and there'll be lots of names and lots of brands there. And this will be flexed up on display in the show sheds. Nonetheless, let's just get shown to another video. So originally I had that pole there and I was gonna use a factory headrest, um, sort of like middle piece and modify it. But I've changed my mind on that because I don't really want it to slide and do what I was going to plan on doing. So I've cut that out and I've got another piece of pipe that I'm going to weld in the very top. Then I've got this Spiro Forester headrest, which I'm going to use. And that's going to go like up there. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll do this and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll just tack this one in and I'll make sure it's all going to work. So this is a headrest from the Subaru. And they don't line up with like the spacing is not quite right. So they're just gonna weld a little tube in between those so that in space, the right spacing and then just sort of round it to fit on the bar. So it fits a lot nicer and I'll be covering this headrest um, in vinyl anyway and I'm most likely gonna be getting new foam. So yeah, I'll just cut these up anyway, the um, little tubes. I've already done one, this is the second one. And then I weld them on, but I didn't video welding them in. But you'll see them welded in a second when I go on to the backrest. So I just bend these two rods up here, and all they're going to do is go in there. It's progress. That'll, I'll probably get new foam and shape that all, man. Headrest slides up and down. So this is my factory rear seat. I'm cutting these mounts off and I'm using these mounts to mount the new seats to the floor. So I just chopped off the end of this, the wee clip, and then that literally just allows me to push the pin out. And these come right out. And I'm gonna use them, chop them up. Oh, that's what I started with, and then this is what I have already made for the other side. So that's all it is. It's pretty simple, really. So I was putting this video together and didn't realise I actually took any videos of welding it on, but you can see the mounts there just on the bar. Just So there's just four of them. It's two on the back, two on the front. That's all it needs. So I've welded up all the frame, and then... I put these in it and these bars, which is what these connect to, the same as this. Like all over. And then I put these back on. They don't seem to worry about painting seat frames, like these frames weren't painted to begin with, but I just wanted to because I just didn't want my welds and things to get rusty because I do plan on taking it through water and it is possible they're going to get wet. So basically what I've done here is just made that gap 
so I can bring this through, and then when I do these middle seats, it's kind of going to be the same concept, but of course I need to cut it. And you see me taking them off though, just metal clips, but I'm just using cap cars this time. I may use metal clips in the future, but for now, cap cars are going to do the job. We'll see what they go like. They're a lot faster. <laughs> I won't give up, I won't give up this Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can't show you things that you couldn't believe Sorry this video is real jumpy, but we're going to go back to the, the backrest. Um, so I've bent, I've got these two bars that are exactly the same, and I've bent them up in the winch cradle, so I just dropped them in the hole and just bent them over just to make the bend, and that's how I got these. So well, there's nothing, it was nothing fancy. And then um, this is it in, so I've got 50mm from there all the way around, which is what the foam that I've just brought is. And then I'll lay that over and I'll weld some slats into that. So I'll weld this on where I'm holding it, weld some slats in, and then I'll show you. So I've got it in, I've welded the little strips, there's 20 mil wide, I think they were, strips, and um, one mil thick, so just panel steel. And at the moment, I'm just, I'm just sorry, measuring um, to see what sort of sub I can fit in here. 250 there, and like 300 there depth. So I'll be able to make up quite a cool box in there to house a maybe a 10 or a 12 because I think yeah probably probably a 10 inch because it's quite 12 would be pushing it but we'll see that'll that'll be to come so stay tuned for that right so I got my foam in I've cut it just with a bread knife and just shaped it a bit better but I'm actually going to get a bit denser foam. I sort of found that this is a little bit soft, but it sort of works for now. But anyway, um, and the back one's in too, and the headrest goes in and all. So I'm all happy with that too. It looks quite cool. But of course, like the the vinyl needs to be there to hold everything in the right place, but you can seal them everything anyway. They'll all get attached back up and zipped up again. And yeah, these bits need to be like pulled down and around to be much nicer shape. But the vinyl will do that because it'll pull tight and then I'll be able to attach it in under there. And just do it the same as what, how I did the bottom with the cable ties. So that will work mint. Um, I'll need to get some vinyl and either get someone to do it or teach myself how to use a sewing machine and buy an industrial sewing machine. So if anyone has one of them, um, wants to sell me one, that'd be awesome. Because I'd love to learn how to do that stuff too and make content on that as well. So it'd be, that'd be real cool to do. So I pulled it back out and I just put this in. This is, uh, um, I just bend that up and it angles up a wee bit. Because I noticed when I was sitting in there, you kind of like fell forward. Where this will kind of hold you in a bit better. Same as this. And I noticed my factory seats are very similar as well. The f old factory seats, you kind of lean, lean back. So... But I'm probably going to plate, um, like, I'm making some tin plates at the moment, and I'm probably going to put steel plate in here, and then just drill holes in it to make it lighter and sort of just what normal seats are, just so you can't feel the bars. So this is the bottom of the seat for the middle. I've measured out 50 between it because I'm putting holes all along. Just to make it lighter and just to sort of give it a bit better look and stuff. So I got my hole saw kit, I got my drill, and I'll do that. Right, so this is it done. I've drilled all the holes, um, I've welded it in. Everything's all basically the way it's going to stay. So yeah, just the holes sort of just added to the look of it and also like let some air through to the foam and lighter. So it's got a couple of reasons. Um, and the foam, this is, I'm going to get new foam because this is obviously a little bit too soft. But it was good to use to mock up anyway and I sort of didn't know what 
firmness I wanted, but yeah, I definitely wanted the firmness. So I want like the same as this. Um, yeah, it's got like drips on it because it's been raining and I just opened my door and it's gone over and dripped on it. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'll get that in there, the same firmness as this. And then I found, even though that like ramps up a little bit and then you've got like a bar through there from factory, which you would have seen before, that holds you in. The centre sort of works the same because you sink into it slightly and then you've got these like big side bits so you can't, you can't fall out, so that's quite cool too. But um, yeah, when it's all covered, it all cover like the I'll make all the vinyl so it goes goes like this, but obviously on the inside, and then these cup holder things, which I'll explain. So they're going to be like to the edge and to the edge, just under that lip. And um, this was a damaged product when I brought it, and then because back when I did the center console, so I emailed them and um, they ended up sending me a new one. And then this is how I made the center console. But I am widen, making this wider too, the exact same way, because if you follow my um, Instagram and stuff like that, this, I've got quite a few gear, gear sticks in here, just being six-wheel drive and the six-wheel drive change case. We won't worry about that, that'll be a different episode. But these will match, so like, this one will be in the sense console, and then the rear seats will be behind there. So I'll tell you I'm going to do that. So I'm getting, I've got four more of these, and I'm going to cut them, so basically I'm going to have... Uh, four pieces like this and there'll be um, so I'm going to cut them like this part off so I'll have a cup holder and a compartment and then so I have two like that and then two the other way around so cup holder compartment and then I'll put the cup holder compartment and then there'll be a join and then there'll be a compartment and cup holder which is I've measured and is this size and then that will sort of line up with the edge of that so when you're in the two other seats you can put your you got like cup holders and compartments to put things because we all know like middle seats in any vehicle don't really get used every day but if you need it it's there and it's actually surprisingly comfy it's a lot comfier than what i was expecting it's like yeah that's good so i will get the the more dense foam and everything like that but i'm going to just leave it here and um in the video Right, so that double pass tool new at the start of the video, you can either look at these customs of appreciation and it will take you to this. This is on Instagram. If you click the link in the bottom of the video, it should just take you straight to this. And here's a little bit of description about the prize. So it's a, a general's emission double pass. You're able to pick out of 21st, 22nd or 23rd because it's just a one day pass. How to enter. So you'll like the post, you'll comment win and then type one of your friends' names you want to bring along. You can tag three of your friends in there to get bonus entries and you can share it. But a thing you must do is up here you'll see follow both Full Drive Expo and myself. So if you don't already follow those two pages, you'll need to click on the Expo, it'll bring you to this where I'm already doing that. And then go back to my page and click follow where I can't show you that because it's my page. But there'll be a follow up here and then you're in the draw to win and good luck. And while you're at that, hit subscribe on my YouTube channel because I am so close to a thousand subscribers. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view. The band is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through. Cause I feel like taking